Hello everyone, Epic Eclipse here, and today I'm bringing you guys something a little different in Rocket League. So in this, I'm going to be explaining some like major tips for new players, older players, basically anyone in the game can use these tips. It's like just essential tips from a superstar, because now I am a superstar in the game, and shoot, I shall be champion, hopefully. So first, I'm going to start with the basics of the basics. Um... I know a little. I did a little series on this. I'm not really going into anything, any shots or anything. But basically, first thing, car. Yes, there's minor differences between that. I have my face-off series. I say what the minor differences are. I mean, it's not so minor. They have big differences, like uh, Dominus flies a lot quicker than the Octane. Breakdown flies quicker than Dominus, and the Merc gets a better hit than the Dominus. So that's the essential things and they all have different body shapes but it really is what you're comfortable with you know the worst stat game the worst stat car in the game i think is the backfire and you know what if you like the backfire and do well for it you do you do you you do what you want to do it's whatever car you're the most comfortable with is really it's important um antenna and hat does not change anything boost doesn't change anything it's all preference what you like and that's pretty much customized the, the, everything, and I would recommend keeping your title on. So that's basically that one. Uh, another thing, if you're new to the game training, do the trainings. They're very useful. I mean, even players that I know that are champions in between game, you just do some training. You might as well get a little freshen in, maybe get a shot down that you wouldn't be able to get before. Definitely, if you're just starting the game, I recommend goalie training. I start off, um, the rookie's pretty easy. If you couldn't do the rookie, that's a, uh, well... Not good. But once you get to pro, I say if you're new to the game, you're ready to go. And if you can do all-star, you're rocking. You're doing pretty good. Striker, uh, rookie, yeah, you should be able to do no problem. And if you can do pro, you should be ready for to just begin matching. And all-star isn't too bad, so you should be able to get that too. And if you get that, you're pretty good into the game. And aerial, you should do these as well. Rookie is really um, very simple. You should be able to do that. So I'd start on pro and do all-star. And if you can get all-star aerial, you're way off into the game. Sorry about the notification down there. And also, if you're very new um, tutorial, do it. Why not? It explains to you. Also, another thing. Controller. Air roll button is on A and handbrake is on X. I recommend switching that. Just like in my controls here, I will show you. I recommend switching that to LB, which is also I have power slide. I recommend putting them on the same thing basically the power slide of the air so that's that and um uh for keyboard it's the same also don't forget even new ranked old ranked people sometimes you just don't know you have air roll you do just try it out it helps a lot getting different angles and stuff especially in controller it's very good i still use keyboard and mouse so sometimes it gets a little tricky okay so i think that's it for the actual game also do expert ex expeditions and stuff and play with the mutator of slow-mo to practice things it actually does help a lot so that's for that okay this is a little useful tip for you know older players so we have this here this website which i will put in the description uh basically how you get it is if you were to go on to your um my bad let me go and bring up my steam profile go on to here and go to profile. You see this little thing here? It says how mine says Epic Eclipse Gaming. So you would take that and on home, you could do this for any platform. You type it in here and it would come up and actually it stays in your recents, which is nice. So this is my recents. Uh, oh, that's someone else that I play with. Uh, see, you can see I am Superstar 1156. Um, you kind of, as playing, you'll venture out and figure what things are. I know for All Star, like the rank up to the ranks up, up to Superstar is 1150. And for Division 4 of All-Star, it's 1124. And then for Division 3, it's 1190, uh, 1096. And then so on, so on, basically. Um, so this is a very good way to keep track of your stats. It tells you actually what percentage in the world you are for your shoot saves and everything like that. It tells you your gameplay, uh, everything basically it tells you. Look at that. That little incline there. That's pretty satisfying. Um, so this is a really good, nice website. I'll leave it down in the description, the link. And um, So that's for that. Now we're going to plan off some gameplay. Um, it, and I will talk over it about some other major tips. Um, depending on the gameplay, I'll talk. And I'll, I'll leave. If it's just one game, I'll play one game. But it, uh, I have two games lined up. So... Okay, we're getting into the game here. Uh, I'll do a little, like, example-wise of what happens in the game, if anything that I'm saying. Uh, in this game, I'm playing with the Muffin Thief. Um, also, 
uh, I started playing in the Mach 8 tournaments. Uh, you know, we got to the second round, which was, uh, you know, not so good. But uh, it turns out the the um, the team that we played came in second place, and they were both grand champs. So it wasn't such a great start. But um, basically, my two new teammate for twos is the, uh, God Bear, and I am sure that we will have a video out the two of us because we are playing very very well together, and I am playing very defensive now. Uh, I also switched my car to the Dominus, kind of. I'm switching back and forth to Dominus and Octane. I've given up deciding between the two. It's just how I'm feeling every day. So, big thing. Um, very, very big thing about the game is knowing when to go for it or not. See, you saw how he just cleared that there. You know, a lot of people can go for that. And it does you no good to go for that. Because if you go for a ball that, you know is close yes that's fine if you have another teammate like say if Muffin Man went for a ball that the other team may get but he can get it too it's okay because he knows I'm back but if I was the back person that got past the Muffin Man I went for a ball that was a little tricky it's not worth it you might as well drop back and try to play it better because honestly if you get if it goes past you then there's no one behind you and that's basically an open goal for them you know maybe you get away with it at a lower rank but at higher rank, rank you really don't think uh, you really don't. So, uh, that's a big thing. And knowing when to go for it and everything, that's a very... Like, see there, I shouldn't have went for it. It was a complete stupid hit. But you know what? The Muffin Man was behind me and he was able to stop it. So, that's a very big tip. Um, also, you know, if you see your teammate pressuring, drop back to goal. You know, it never hurts to be in goal. Hit it out, clear it. And to do with that, another really big thing is don't go for the stupid shots. The shots that, you know, maybe I can get it, and if I do get it, it's going to do nothing. It's no point. It's like, so you move the ball two inches, and the other team's just get hit, and you're out of position. And another thing on top of that is when the ball is on your side and stuff, and say you're back, another really big thing is big clears. If you can't get big clears, it it's really big impact. You, would, if you can actually see how much of a big impact having big clears have, because... Basically, you know, it's especially in twos. Like threes, mm, big clears are still very important. It's never not important. It's just not in twos. It's a lot more useful. See, if I get if you get a big clear here, there's two people up, and then you got uh, open to one person goal, and basically it's easier to score a goal, or you can launch it all the way into the other team's net, which is a goal. Um, so that's another thing to work on in training and things, and just to try. See that big clear like that, and. Basically, it leaves one guy on. I mean, he played it very well, but again, it get, it's very tricky, and the more times you do it, the better chance you have of scoring a goal. So, that's a couple. That's another thing, is the big clears. And the other thing is trying to actually know where your teammate is. Like, trying to kind of pay attention to where he's, where he's at. Because, you know, playing on top of each other is terrible. There's, it's, it's not good. You'll just end up losing, actually. Because... You know, everyone could do a simple, like, one-two pop, and if you guys miss it, you know, like a pop against the wall or, like, some nice little play there, um, you get past two of you, and then it's open goal. Here, let me just, just take a drink of water really quickly. I like this game very well, very much, um, playing with a guy named the Muffin Thief. I play with him pretty often on randoms. Um, <laughs> I actually just ate a piece of watermelon. Better than drinking water. Um... But uh, he's pretty good. He's a rocketeer. Um, let's see. Another thing is um, really know your strong points. So basically, like know what you're good at in the game. You know, you're not going to be good at everything unless you're a grand champ and, I don't know, very good. I mean, but then you shouldn't really be watching this video because you're really not going to need the tips from me. I mean, you could be watching it, but you don't need the tips. So know what you're good at. I know I'm good at goalieing and being in the goal and being very defensive so that's what I tend to try to do in the game and it just works out well because I'll, I'll be back and I'll be playing goal and I you know saves are very more not if it's not the same importance it could be more important than shooting because you know if you keep on getting goals and they keep on getting goals it's not gonna be good but if you you know keep on saving and if they don't score they can't win right but same vice versa, if you don't score, you can't win. So you have to play an equal balance. But if you have the lead, you know, there's no point of being so... Also, this is another tip coming off my head. Uh, having the lead. You know, if you got one goal, okay, 
but you could still be a little aggressive and stuff. But two goal, there's no point of pushing, making unreasonable shots, just playing a lot more back and and uh, playing a lot more defensive will help you a lot more and uh, will not let them to come back because that's another big thing. You know, you have the lead, you kind of fool around a little bit and then you lose the lead because, well, you're pressing so much. And back to knowing your strong points. So, yeah, my strong points are basically being goalie and um, wall shots and uh, passing. That's my other one. But besides from that, I'm really not too good at shooting. I mean, I can get pretty good angles and stuff, but... I'm good at clears and shooting things cross court, and that's basically it. I mean, yes, I can shoot, and yes, I can do everything else okay, but it's just not my strong, strong point. Um, so we ended up winning that game uh, with Muffin Man being a little... Is it the Muffin Man or the Muffin whatever? Is the Muffin something after me there. Um, so that was that game. So we're into this game here, uh, playing Wasteland again, and also Wasteland's a terrible map. I hate it. It's got awful. It's a lot of awkward bounces and stuff. I don't know why both maps here are on Wasteland. I guess that's just... I recorded both on Wasteland. I don't know. I've been getting really bad luck with Wasteland. I've been getting consistently. So, um, I don't think I have enough to say to be playing through two games here. But I had enough to say to really get through one. But, uh, I will probably, no matter... I'll just leave this running. I'll say a couple other things. Uh, Wednesdays, I am playing in the Market 2v2 tournament uh, with God Bear. As I said before, I will be streaming that on my stream. My stream is, my Twitch is down in the description, so go follow that. And uh, my Twitter's there, and it lets you know when I'm streaming Rocket League in general. Um, this tournament starts at 7, uh, 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, it could go for very long, could go for short, you know? It depends how we do, it depends what we get first up against. Uh, Depends who's playing. I'm, I'm friends with most of the pros that play in it, so I know when and basically where we're going to be screwed at. But it's nice. I mean, when we play those two Grand Champions, we didn't do too bad. We lost 3-1 and 7-5. I mean, the second game's not the greatest, but yeah, we gave them a little fight. Um, so there's that, and then I know I haven't bring up coming out with so much Rocket League. Uh, I've been very much enjoying Total War Warhammer, so check that out if you haven't. Um, it's a very fun game and very enjoyable. I love recording it. And um, the next uh, Rocket League video should be with God Bear. We'll probably be doing some twos, getting up to champion. And um, let's see what else. What else? What else do I got here? I think that may be everything that's basically going on. And um, uh, I'm going to be trying to come out with a couple more Rocket League videos. Uh, just basically, I've been working my ass off to get to champion before this update. For I will be covering the new map and everything on the new cars. I'll probably do a face-off with them or something. I'll compare them to some car. I won't really have stats for them or anything, but uh, I'll compare them and I'll do face-off with them or something like that. And we'll be playing on the new map, and I will be getting some of my rank-up games on there. Uh, I mean, my uh, placement games. I'm very glad they're swiping all the stats, because I feel like, you know... I've been placed lower than where I should be, and sometimes it's just hard to get up there with, you know, teammates that you can get. There's nothing you can do about getting a bad teammate or getting unlucky and something like that. So hopefully I can place well in these two in these games, and you guys will see the outcome of them. Uh, I'll probably stream my placement games, maybe. I don't know. I don't want to have any lag or anything like that. Uh, it will be on my Twitter, so if you're following that, I will let you guys know when I am streaming and stuff. Uh, what else? What else do I have to tell you guys? Um, we're pretty much done with all the tips. I mean, I those were basically just some tips that, you know, you guys should know and try to do in the game. They help out a lot. I know they definitely help me. Um, I'm actually going to be trying to switch to controller now. Just, it's been going brutal. Uh, I want to finish this uh, season, then probably my next season will be with controller. So that should be pretty interesting after my placement games I'll be playing a lot on my um, Smurf account if you guys play an account called oh shit it most likely is me if it's a Smurf um, I basically I can't play on my normal account with my controller so I play on that um, so I think that's pretty uh, it um, pretty much it actually no it's not uh, I'm probably getting the vibe actually 
uh, soon. So I will be coming out with videos on that because that's pretty awesome. And I will have my webcam up for that and everything. So you guys can see what I'm doing and see the gameplay at the same time. So I'm very, very excited for that. The vibe looks amazing. I figured that was, I like the vibe more than like the Oculus and other things. Um, so that's basically all that's going on. Uh, some more Total War Warhammer will be coming out very shortly. Uh, I just want to get a couple of Rocket League videos in there. Uh, I've got a lot of gameplay of it. And also I will be streaming Total War Warhammer as well. If you guys want me to, I will put it in my Twitter when I'm streaming that. Um, it's just such a long game, so it's sometimes hard to just keep on reporting all the episodes. Uh, but I can stream it hours on end. <laughs> could literally go for a 24-hour stream. But... I believe that's everything, so I will leave you guys here and let you guys finish the rest of this gameplay. Yeah, we won the game, and I will see you guys in the next one.